All right, so what's your name? Monique. Monique. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I'm 29. Where are you from originally? Phoenix, born and raised. Right here on the west side? Mm -hmm. Well, no, I was born in Maricopa County over there on the east side. Um, my good memories are with So, what's your situation right now? Uh, well, I'm, I'm basically homeless, like, I'm homeless, but I don't know. Um, I have a home, but it's just, you know, I want, I want to listen to their rules, you know? Yeah. Just, so, you have somewhere to stay, but you choose to be out here on the streets? Yeah. Why is that? It's more of just like a, I don't know, I like, I don't know, I like the people, I like the, you know, I, it's crazy to say, but I do like the environment, you know, because it's just like, you know, you learn a lot by just like being around people, you know, like, it's, it's crazy because like, um, I always think of like, a, it's like, what, it's not about what you know, it's like who you know, you know? Yeah. So it's like, um. So you like meeting people out here? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I do. I do. I feel like a lot of people have something to say you know I yeah know. what's going on how come you have that thing on on your leg <laughs> it, it, it's for court yeah are you under house arrest no it's for pre-trial services so like um, once i go to court then I, i'll get to them. okay but they don't make you like have a curfew or anything like that you you got to go home after a certain uh, hour no no? no no they ask you they're like are you homeless i'm like oh, yeah but like so what what area can i find you at Okay, so that thing doesn't monitor your movement and all that? Um, it does, it, it does. So I went to McDonald's the other day and um, I was about to call, call her, to, you know, see if she wanted to meet up or whatever. And right when I looked up, she was right there. So, yeah. Yep, it mount, it, oh, you know, so they track you? Yep. 100% of the time. Yeah. Do you have if to? It, if it dies, then they can't track you, but it'll go to the last place that it was like. That's what I was going to ask you. Do you have to recharge it and everything like that? Mm -hmm. Is that responsibility up to you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I lost the charger. Did you? And what yeah, happens if it, what happens if you just go about your day with not, without even charging it and it dies on you? Like, do you get violated or what? Uh, they'll they'll try to contact you. And, yeah. Um, if you don't answer, then they'll go to uh, your address or go to where the monitor was last. So that they'll go look for you. Okay. Yeah. Why did they put that on you? Is it like? Did you get released on OR? Uh, um, yeah, basically, yeah, I got released. Um, but they want to make sure that I don't leave and I actually go to court. Yeah. Yeah. I've been. Are you like a flight risk or what? Uh, no, I guess I guess I am, but it was just I just didn't take care of my thing since I got it. Yeah. So. So what kind of charges are pending? Uh, it's, it's just shoplifting and dangerous. Okay. Are you scared about uh, going to jail uh, or have you been through it before? Uh, no, I'm not scared. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not scared of jail. I feel like, I feel like out here is harder than jail, so, other than not eating. Yeah. But, but yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not scared, but I don't want to go. <laughs> I just don't want to go. Have you ever been to prison or just jail? Uh, just jail. Like, I hear prison's better. <laughs> well, as far as the food, probably. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, man. no. Hell no. I'm like, you probably have to deal with more politics and stuff like that in there. And I mean, Jody Aries is there, so like. Yeah. I would have seen her. She's still in there, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, I heard. Uh, well, I was actually with some girl named Chelsea, and uh, she was um, uh, her neighbor. So yeah. I wrote a note to Jody, like, "What's up, girl?" <laughs> Oh, did you? Yeah. You tried to contact her? Yes. Like, hit me up. <laughs> I get. I, I hear she's gay now, but I'm not gay, but she's pretty. Yeah. Well, you know what she did, right? Yeah. That was horrible. Yeah. We make mistakes. That was a mistake? Yeah. <laughs> so what do you do out here to survive? Um, well, I just... I just so you hustle? Yeah. Well, I try. Is it dangerous doing the type of hustles that you do out here? Um, well, 
kind of it, it is it can be it's just like you know like I, I don't know if you I feel like it's common sense like on who to fuck with and who not to fuck with you know like yeah. you know that this person is like you know bad like why do business with them so you know I find the little happy white people <laughs> so you try to just deal with white people and well not just white people just like anybody just with good vibes you know yeah you know I'm, I don't know I just I'm just all about I'm all about vibes you know yeah like I, I'm I'm pretty good at reading good like reading people's vibes but sometimes I do um see the good in other people even though it's not there but for the most part I it's just you know I just you know who to fuck with you know because if you're out here you know you know mm-hmm can you tell me how your childhood was growing up? Um, my childhood, uh, it was it was good. I, Did I, you have both parents? I had uh, my my real dad. He's always been in and out, but my I had a stepdad. He's, he's always been there. So he's, okay. That's my dad. So your real dad's been in and out of prison? Uh, no, he's just been out in my life. He's, oh, okay. He's working. He's always. stepdad he's he's awesome like he's uh like when we we're kids like uh everybody would come over to our house and he'd be out there uh playing with the boys and you know with the bikes and soccer to- showing them how to skateboard and, yeah so and he's he always took care of you yeah that's good man yeah, I'm his princess. and you still have your mom yeah yeah does she know what's going on with you like that you're out here on the streets or not he, yeah she she knows uh they they don't agree with it and they they um they question it like they're just like you know like like you know with the the fact that like you know I did have a pretty good childhood you know like yes yeah. they just they wonder why you know what it's happened just, you know it's just drugs yeah it's just hard you know I've been at, in and out of sober living like four or five times now and I I mean I do I do when I do go I do work the program you know like I I don't waste nobody's time but. Um, and then when I do feel like it's time for me to go, like, I'll just go and, but, you know, I, I don't know. I feel like I took a lot out of those sober livings and I, I try to take it and then use it as much as I can out here. But I don't know. The last couple of times I went to jail, like, um, the withdrawals weren't as bad. So I feel like it, it's, it's going to be easier to do it this time when I'm ready. Do you have any kids? Yeah, I have three. You have three? three. Who are they with right now? Um, my two oldest is with their dad. Um, we don't, we don't have, like, a court order or anything like that. We just, just decided, you know, like, it's, you know, better for them, you know? Mm-hmm. And, um, he's been awesome. He's been a good dad. Um, and then I have my youngest, Messiah, and he is with my mom. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, uh, uh, they yeah. all from the same dad? Um, no. The first two... Are with uh, with Matt and then the last one to Jack. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so where were you going right now when I seen you? Um, I saw a group of uh, people that looked like they would buy oh, what okay. I have. <laughs> okay. And, <laughs> but I don't know, yeah. So you were I just was, out here hustling. Yeah, because actually uh, the tire shop that across the way, um, I I went to school with uh, with the guy who owns that shop. So yeah, um, I was right there in the area, so I went to go chop it up with him and see you know what he's up to and everything. It's been years since I saw him, so it was like it was good to see him. Does he know that you're out here on the streets? Yeah. What does he tell you? Uh, they they're I have a good support team there. Everybody's yeah. rooting for me. It's just you know I'm, it's just me. I just gotta I gotta get up and do it. Yeah. But, yeah, I know he was he was happy to see me and you know uh I actually look better than I what I did so before, like last week and probably last month, so I'm glad I saw him now. That's, <laughs> good. Now, so. That's good. I don't look too crazy. No you don't, you actually look pretty clean. You look good. you look nice. Thank you. Um I try I try to keep up with my hygiene. How do you do that? Um uh well you, you know, go to I, the truck stops i mean i have i have some connections to like you know yeah 
into these empty rooms and stuff. So it's like, it's it's, it's hard, but like I, I I just try to make it a priority, you know, like because some of these girls be staying. Yeah, yeah. I, I like I, I don't like to I, I don't like to look you know like that I like to take care of myself make it look, you know how's anyone take you seriously you know but yeah no. like, I try to take care of myself like that. that's good alright well thank you for sharing your story I really do appreciate it are you okay if I share this on my YouTube channel yeah, yeah. and just in case somebody wants to reach out to you with any sort of help or donations do you have any contact information that you want to share like an email or anything like that um yeah um yeah i do like you can go ahead and say it um shit. i'm like locked out of everything um i don't know you could make one and we'll link it later yeah we'll do that because um the other ones for yeah we'll do that all right all right well thank you for giving me the interview i appreciate it